friend, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. Hope you're having a great start to your week. Here it is Tuesday on the channel and there is gonna be a whole week ahead of us of hanging out and shopping at the Goodwills. <laughs> that is this week. By the way, the sale, live sale, is on Thursday. So please try to join us for that. It's gonna be Thursday night at 8 p.m. my time, which is Eastern. Coincidentally, trick or treat is that night in my neighborhood. It's always the last Thursday of the month. So prior to us getting on the live, we will be handing out candy. We may be a little dressed up. We haven't really decided what we're gonna do, but it's gonna be a fun night. We're gonna be, I'm sure, ramped up on some chocolate <laughs> and ready to hang out with you all. So please join us at eight on Thursday. Before then, there will be a video as well. It was an entire day and a half of shopping and it just worked out to be three videos. So it's gonna be a great week. Let's get it kicked off here today with some thrifting in the bins. Me and mom went over there first. I'll come back and show you one of the things that I picked up and then we'll go right back there again, meet up with my Aunt Beth and I find one of the best things I've ever found over in the bins. Let's go. Kind of busy here this morning. Mom and I are a little late, 9.30-ish. Of course, we hit the uh, art first. Found a little watercolor. I'm gonna have to identify the artist here but this was a gift. It's actually a golf course. You see the little flag there? Um, and there's a nice note on the back to Rich, I think, or Rick. It's either Rick or Rich. Um, for their 40th, the artist did this little piece. So we're gonna look up and see if the artist is of note. And these I'm gonna look up. They're really pretty. They don't seem to have any use. They don't have any scratches or anything, so we'll just see what the replacement value is on those. And then I was a little disheartened to find this. I know this um, maker, there should be a little animal right on there that's looking in the mirror. This is uh, Judy Rand, and I've sold her stuff before on eBay. So I'm still kind of looking for a little cat or dog. Those are just some little bunnies. These are little buoys that are hand painted with lighthouses. That's neat. And then mom just found this bag of ornaments and look at how cute these are, look at these. How adorable are those? They're just little like polymer clay and you clip them to a branch. There's a bunch of these in there. And there's some other ones. This one says, believe. It's really cute. A bag of those. I think that's it so far. Yeah. Life of a reseller right here. <laughs> there's so many things that we need to look up. There's stuff in here for mom. Like she's getting a new, really fancy snow brush. Um, but yeah, there's a lot that we gotta look up. And they are about to switch out the bins all the way over on the other side. So I'm gonna try and do this quickly so that we can go over and see some new stuff before we head out. Of course, I'll be back with whatever we decide to keep. Mom, yes. I think you should dress up like this instead of like a clown for Halloween. And I could get you the big googly eyes. Oh, that's good stuff. Just take that. <laughs> okay, we decided to put the painting back. We can't find the artist. It's, it was made as a gift, so it's not something that's like, you know, really high quality. It's nicely done. Obviously, this person knows how to paint. Um, this is what we narrowed down to. Here's some old glass Christmas beads. They're in horrible condition, but I think they would look beautiful in a jar. So we're gonna do that. Um, bought some little resin shoes that are collector's um, items. Gonna lot them up on eBay. This is probably my favorite find. Look at this. It's a little casket box. It has an Art Nouveau look. A little patina. Man, is it pretty. I love it, love it. 
my hands by the way. <laughs> I cannot wait to go wash them. Um, found this little bird feeder that will cling right to the window. Um, I told mom she could have it, but I don't know if she's interested. She's worried about the suction. Found some fun little giveaways and some what look like painted beads that maybe one of my jewelry making friends would love. Picked up, these are from mom actually. Picked up some brand new big reusable bags. These cost nothing to run through here. And I got a, at least one for myself for this load of stuff. I found some half cotton, half polyester muslin. New in its original packaging. Montgomery Ward. Aren't those great colors? Super vintage. I found a little crush. It's really well made. And I always run into nativity sets. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. It's got a light and everything in it. I found a great big macrame. It's actually got the artist's information on it. Somewhere. Mom found it. Here. Right here. All the way down in here. Primitives by Kathy. Mom got a new snow brush. We got a new board game. This is a great lap desk um, with a pull out for both sides, whether you're left or right handed for your mouse. Um, these sell for somewhere between 40 and $50, but I think mom and I are gonna arm wrestle for that. <laughs> um, what else is in here? Oh yeah, this. I'm gonna see if I can fix this. This is a Salmon Falls crock. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Somebody knocked off the top and they did a horrible glue job. So I'm gonna see if I can't maybe bake this in the oven, melt the glue. We're totally gonna rescue that. <laughs> Mom just found some packing paper. I don't know where she got to. Oh, she's over there looking at stuff again. I'm gonna put this art piece back. I think we're gonna check out. So pretty, right? This is such a cool thing to find in the bins. And yes, it had damage. Somebody did a really poor glue job. Actually, they didn't do bad because they did line it up really well. Just whatever glue they decided to use, it just looked really bad. But guess what? I put it in the oven. I got it high in temperature and I was able to cut off all of that foamy glue that was around there. So now we have a nice, almost undetectable little glue job there, which is great. The only other thing about this is it has a small chip right here on the lid. Everything else is pretty perfect. And I love these canisters and bowls with the dark inside. So this pottery company is called Salmon Falls Pottery. They are out of New Hampshire. They still produce beautiful salt glaze pottery. This is one of their blueberry pattern. Now these blueberries are in a basket right here. This little mark right here is likely the artist mark. They have many artists there, but isn't that just gorgeous? It's been such a crazy month because I keep running into Salmon Falls Pottery. Not only Salmon Falls Pottery, but the blueberry pattern. Let me show you. On a separate trip to the bins, not this week's trips, but a trip that happened just recently, I found two pieces of Salmon Falls. One is a little bowl and it has the little blueberries on it. This is kind of cool because it has it in the green and blue, not just the blue. And the same with this bowl. This is like a nice big almost soup or chili bowl. This one is stamped on the bottom. And usually if it's signed, it'll be signed on the bottom or it'll just be kind of snuck in amongst things. And I don't see this one having a signature. This one is signed, it looks like coal on the bottom. So I found that piece and then just maybe a week or two later, found these pieces also in the bins, but wait, there's more. On Friday, I went over to stock my booths full of Christmas. Yes, it's that time of year. <laughs> While I was there, I checked out some of the booths that I like to check for stuff to buy and sell. And guess what I found? A beautiful Salmon Falls blueberry 
platter with the attached like dip bowl. Perfect for anything that you want to serve that needs dipped. Isn't that gorgeous? There's the stamp right there. And I'm pretty sure this one had, yep, right here. There's a little B right here. That's probably the artist's little sneak in there, little initial. And you know what was sitting with this piece? A salt and pepper shaker set. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? So I got these for a wonderful deal. I don't remember what, but I'm guessing under $5 for both the platter and the salt and pepper. Isn't that crazy? If anybody out there watching collects the Salmon Falls pottery, especially in the blueberry pattern, and needs any of the things I just showed, please let me know. Let me know, in fact, if you ever see anything, including anything on my eBay store, that you would like to own. Just hit me up through my email. I'll put that right here on the screen, and I will email you back with a price. It's always going to be better than what I can list it for because it saves me the time and energy of getting them photoed, listed, all of those things. And even if I've already done all those things and they're up there somewhere, it saves us a little for me to get them to you directly because we don't pay the fees of a platform. So that's how that works. But wow, right? Lots of salmon falls in the last few weeks. And I'm really quite pleased about that. If these go to eBay, I've already shared with you the values on the screen. And that's about where they will land when I put them there. Let's go back over for a second day at the bins. We're gonna meet up with my Aunt Beth and we're gonna find some great things, including one amazing thing. <laughs> Mom and I have been here for a half an hour and we have a full cart. I'm not gonna go through everything. I'll spotlight a couple of things. This mom just found a very cool piece of pottery. Looks like a luminary that can be hung because it has some holes for some rope. So I love that. I'm finding some cool cat stuff. A um, few of the things in here that are cats. I have three boxes of flashcards. I gotta do the math on these, but if the math makes sense, I'm gonna list these on eBay. And some Christmas stuff. Oh, these, these, look at these. Hand blown and hand painted. Just missing one in there. Look at how pretty those are with the little florals. And this little, one has just tiny um, that one's more new but they're very cute so that's where we're at they haven't even switched out the bins yet mom and beth are here and we are just kind of getting started which this is scary if we're just getting started by the way these are <laughs> martha stewart wreaths um, neither one of them is complete, but I could probably complete one of them with the other. So that's something I'm thinking about too. Who is she? Does she have a Look name? Her oh, pink oh, she's got a key in her side. Mm. She's a roller skating girl. But oh no, no. Lady, you need some help with your hair. She's really neat though. Y'all, okay, so new carts came out, and there's maybe a couple decent things in here, but look what I just found. Y'all, can you see him? The head was there, and then I was like, oh no, oh no, where's the body, where's the body? And sure enough, I looked over, and there his bottom was. So this is a Fenton Amberina Glass Santa Fairy Lamp. I just pulled him out of that second box right there in the bins y'all treasures to be had i couldn't believe it i looked down in a box i saw the top of it and the hat and just got the little you know happy butterflies in my belly and reached over and grabbed him and i knew exactly what he was and i knew he needed a bottom so i remember even saying out loud oh my gosh where's your bottom where's your bottom and i looked back down and a little bit a ways but in the same box there it was and they are both in perfect condition which we always worry about when things come out in the bins because you know they're all thrown together but not this guy 
I put up a picture of him as soon as I found him. In fact, we hadn't even left the binge yet. I put him on Instagram and a friend of mine reached out and said, do not sell that guy. I want him. So he already has a home. He's going to be traveling to California. I hope you like the sunshine state, Santa, because that is where you're going. We're also going to go over to the retail side and spend a little bit of time. So let's go check that out. What is this thing? This monstrosity. <laughs> what do you think about this? Do you think this is new? Or you think it has He's missing age? the bottom. Oh, he had a bottom? Probably. Don't know. Um, there's a big picnic basket I'm going to look up, but so far, I haven't really seen too much. Potato. I don't need a potato. Oh, somebody made it for Mother's Day. Aww. Potato for the mother. And the mother just donated the potato? Oh, <laughs> that's, that's morbid. They said, oh, mom's gone. At least we can get rid of the potato. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? That's a pull cue. Pacer. Yeah, that might be worth a look up. I got six dollars on it. Minnesota Fats Pacer. I'll look it up. I don't know much about pull cues. It's kind of nice. Definitely contemporary, made in China. This has a good look to it. It's in the box. Live well. Yes, please. Please live well. That's kind of cool. A little sponge paint, green. It's got a chip. That is Beaumont Brothers Pottery. It might be good, although it's chipped. All right, we'll look it up. I know the Beaumont Brothers um, figure all stuff does well. I don't know about that with the chip, but we'll look it up. I see a little baby here. I see a little baby bottom. Uh, looks like a hobbyist piece. <laughs> it's kind of cute. All right, I see some... Uh, things on the card over here that I want to go look at. I see like a whole piggy collection. What is that? My gosh. I see some Shawnee in there we're going to grab. It's kind of cool. 75 cents. Oh my gosh. It also looks like it might be Shawnee. Look at him. Him. All right, I like him for sure. And I kind of like him, the little side eye. Is this metal? This might be, yeah, that's metal. We'll check him out. 50 cents. Somebody put some good prices on these. Oh, they're cute too. 50 cents. He's cute too. I don't know. I don't need them all. I don't need them all. I think we'll check out that little pile. These are music boxes, but look, there's three of them. Like, did somebody collect them and they just, I, they loved them so much they needed three? <laughs> or did they come from uh, somebody who had a shop uh, and ordered them? That's probably more the case. Oh, that's Homeco. Homeco, put it in your home. That's for my Fatbird Finds ladies. We have so much Homeco in our area too. It looks like Mikasa. We need a Mikasa song. I see a lot of Mikasa. What's this? Oh my gosh, I see a lady. I see a lady with poodles. No way, no way. 
what she got on a little dress little pink poodles no way no way what's going on here oh they look like chalk wear and look at her she's waving with her little glove 75 cents that's a no-brainer right oh my gosh little lady and your poodles you're coming with us her dress looks oh there is some lace underneath there like dresden lace but then this is actually like material she's fun let's check out the christmas stuff i have a lot of christmas stuff to take over and a lot to price Ooh, i like the pink on him what's going on with his legs oh no is he a shelf sitter his legs are <laughs> not attached to his body do these bend they do they bend gosh he's kind of cute with our coupon it's gonna be a dollar 99. i just have so much this is all poseable this is all like got metal in it all right we'll think about you i know a lot of people do oh gosh that, <laughs> that looks painful <laughs> i know a lot of people like the victorian i know i like that pink he looks like he had something on his head a little screw up there something loose a screw a screw that's loose and crawl around back in here oh my gosh y'all that is the bottom of my pumpkin are you kidding me that's the bottom of the pumpkin i know it is <laughs> I have no idea if I can make it work again. That little bulb. Oh my gosh. How wonderful though that I just found the bottom. <laughs> it was so random. You gotta crawl around in the back, I'm telling you. You just never know what you're gonna find. Oh, he's cute. Look at, he's a winking Santa. With a little cheese knife hat. Made in China. He sold for seven. They're asking four. No, no. No, no. So there was a candle on the cart when the cart came out that uh, didn't have a price on it. And I sent it back. So I'm kind of watching. Watching to see if they're going to bring it out. That was like a printed something and they put it on a rock watch this fun pair march and sing five dollars walmart it's older they're in the box so they should probably work probably worth a look up i'd say yes she put three dollars on it she put three on it yay okay it smells delightful it's got a fall scent to it you all like my aunt so much, right? You think she's such a nice lady? She did this. Like, she knew I was going to go through my cart, and so she tucked him right in there. Look at that evil. Oh, my God, he's evil. Ugh. You're mean. such you. a meanie. I'm, I'm definitely getting this guy. So these, to me, look like Henri up here. They're not. They're a resin, but he's just too cool. I'm going to get him. And I'm looking at these things. I think this is my take home pile. I think she's a little too sloppy, even though she's adorable. She's a hobbyist piece, her oh, eyeballs. Yeah. She's cute, but she's sloppy. <laughs> we know some of those people. <laughs> cute but sloppy. Cute but sloppy. All right, this guy's definitely coming home with me. I think I've got it narrowed down. I've got to look up the pool cue. Oh, look at this. Look at this guy. Oh no, his head just fell off. It's like a little candle. I don't know what kind of age he has. Is it broken or does it just go back in there? It goes back in there. I'll just have to put a little glue on him. Oh, he has a face. He has a face. He's so cute. All right, I just have to glue him. I love this little thing too, but I don't think it has, it's a planter. Ooh, maybe I can use that. Look at how cute that is. I think that's uh, probably missing its Japan sticker. Yep, yep. 
All right, and I found these cute candles, so we're getting those. I've got to look up this. This is what I'm down to. I've got to look up this. Old two-hole punch. And this pool cue. And then we'll be ready to to go. I want to show you the trunk. Some of this is mom's in here. She got a basketball hoop and a little easel thing. But this was all of ours from the Goodwill today with some treasures, I think. <laughs> what an awesome day. Filled the trunk with stuff. Now, I hope y'all don't mind that I just showed you the highlights. If you do see anything that you want there, of course, I've included on screen where it is. Some of these things have gone to eBay and have sold, but this is kind of the way that I have to work now, especially since I am full-time reselling. If you had not heard that, <laughs> that is the truth. Um, I was doing some marketing freelance work. I had some clients and I have phased them out so that I could scale up my reselling business. And there are so many things coming down the road that I'm so excited to share with you. In fact, there's one big one that I am gonna share on the live on Thursday that I'm super excited about. So lots ahead for the channel, for me, for the business. And I can't thank you enough for coming along with me on this adventure. And I can't wait to see where it goes. I will be back on Thursday with another Goodwill shop along. Me and my Aunt Beth and my mom went to another Goodwill. And the great thing about this day, if I did not already mention it, is it is a double point Saturday, which means that everything we buy, we get double points for. And if you've seen in the past, our points add up to a 35% off coupon. So we are able to shop with 35% off coupons and then earn them all day. And just you wait by Saturday. It is amazing where we landed with that. It's going to be a good week, like I said. Don't forget to join us on Thursday night at 8 p.m. after that video. Mom and I will be bringing the treats. Not so much the tricks, but we'll definitely be up for a good time and we hope to see you there. All right, everybody, please take care. I will see you then. Bye!